Today we're testing a low budget acoustic bass by Harley Benton, the B25M. Let's check it out! This is Gregor from Bassable.com and here we have the B25M from Harley Benton. Uh, Harley Benton is the house brand of Musikhaus Thoman here in Germany and whenever we get to review basses from them, usually electric basses, I'm always very very impressed by the quality that you can get for very little money nowadays. Um, acoustic basses are kind of a different challenge, they're a little bit more complicated to build, so let's find out if the low budget thing works here too. B25 comes in a so-called grand concert shape. Uh, this is actually, even if it says grand, it's a smaller body than most acoustic basses have. And uh, I guess the concept was here to make one that is very easy to play and very comfortable. And they also achieved this by having a shorter scale. This is actually a 33 inch scale, uh, regular on acoustic basses, also on electrics is of course 34. <laughs> This bass here is based on the Martin BC-15, which is my favorite fretted acoustic bass. It's an all mahogany design and surprisingly delivers a nice amount of low end and warmth, which is typically not really associated with uh, acoustic basses. However, here um, the, the design is of course similar, but uh, we, we are talking about less than 10% of the cost of the original. So we shouldn't make uh, the same expectations. And of course, uh, this bass couldn't possibly deliver any of those. But however, I have to say for this very little money, Acoustically alone, this bass actually sounds really good. The body of the B25 is made from mahogany. We have a maple neck that is dyed in color to match the mahogany, of course. We have an Ovankol neck and an Ovankol bridge. And uh, if you need this bass to be louder, then you can play it acoustically in the room, which is usually not too loud for acoustic basses. Uh, you get an internal pickup system with a preamp that has a four band EQ and a tuner built in. Um, the pure electric sound of this bass is not that great. <laughs> So this was the trial recording of the piezo pickup uh, using only this preamp here, no further processing. And this sound isn't actually useful, would I say. But um, of course, wherever you play, when you play a concert, there will always be a mixing desk with an additional EQ. And combined with this and another preamp, you can definitely make this work. It's maybe not great. It's maybe not the perfect way to get things done, but it works. So it doesn't really matter. Um, if this is an, really an important feature to you, then uh, there's, there's another uh, acoustic bass from Harley Benton, which is a little bit more expensive. And this one has a Fishman uh, system built in. So uh, these things uh, usually never fail. So if this is really important to you, then maybe check this one out. And just let me know if you're interested, then of course we can review this one as well. One little detail that's actually really cool about this bass is the outputs. Uh, we have the regular quarter inch, of course, to go into an amp or pedals or whatever you like to use. But we also have a built-in XLR output. It means whenever you're playing live into a mixing console or stage box or you're in the studio playing into whatever, uh, you don't need an additional DI box, which is of course very practical. Uh, all in all, I have to say I'm still very pleased. Of course, the pickup situation is not the best as I, as I told before, but uh, overall the sound and the feel of the space, also the craftsmanship, it's of course not the best, but for 150 bucks, I mean, it's a very, very decent instrument. So. Um, if you're looking for something just to fiddle around at home or take on vacation to play at the beach or whatever you want to do. 
this might be it. Check it out. That's it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. And uh, in the video description, there's a link to the Toman website where you can check the space out. If you use this link and you buy something from Toman, um, actually we as a channel get a little kickback. So if you decide to do that, thank you very much. And I guess that's it from me today. See you next time. Bye bye.